Hey, it's TR again from T-Man Performance. Uh, we'd like to introduce a new product that we're offering both for the twin cams and especially for the Milwaukee 8s. It's what we call our oil tank vent line kit. And it's a pretty simple thing that we have come up with that really helps these bigger motors and the high output 107s, uh, anything that's got a little bit extra crankcase pressure to relieve the pressure out of the uh, transmission housing. And the way this is designed is you have to basically do a little bit of a uh, modification here on your oil tank and I'm going to kind of walk you through that real quick. The first rendition of this we had our our piece built into our dipstick cap here but what we found by it being aluminum then when we got some miles on these things and we went to check our oil at the gas stations and stuff they would burn your hand. So this is kind of our second rendition of this and works just as effectively. So how this works is you're going to come in here and you're going to take your dipstick out. Now this can be done without removing the oil pan if you just take your time. So how we do that is we take two pieces of paper towel. You have a baffle in here. So there's no chance of these falling in there that, where you can't get them out. So what we do is I just press a couple pieces in there below where I'm going to drill my hole so that your drill does not catch it and then tear it all up. So I'll push it down in there like that. Then my next step is I will just take some axle grease, and this is kind of important. Just grab, just you know, put that in there. Don't be, don't be stingy with it. Just put it in there because what's going to happen, what doesn't cling to your drill bits is going to get caught on that grease. So you don't have to worry about anything dropping into the oil tank. Now your first step is what we will do is we will take a small drill or a center drill, and I will just come down one inch off of this edge. With the dipstick out, that edge right there, come down one inch, and I go right in the center. I just mark it. Then what I'll do is I use three steps. I'll just pilot drill it. Always make sure you have grease on your drill. Then I will step it up to a, another size, about a quarter inch or three sixteenths, and go through. Then for my final size, I will come through with a 21 64th, and I will drill through there, okay? And then after that is done, I like to, some people may not have, this is a chamfering tool in my drill, and I will put it in there and I'll put like a little chamfer on that hole. What that does is help your, your tap start nice and straight. Now this hole has already been drilled, so it goes, you'll see that it goes pretty easy. So you'll just tap that, and then that will tap in. You don't have to go extremely deep, you know, and you, and you definitely want to have grease on this at that time too. Then what I do is once I get all of that tapped and all, I will take my finger in there and I will wipe out any chips that I might feel in there. And then I will clean this out with like a little brake clean. I'll blow it out that way. That way if there is anything in the hole, it will fall down onto the paper towel. Then after I get that all clean, I will just reach in there with a pair of needle nose real carefully on the first one and see how the grease is on there. And if you have any chips, it will normally be stuck here on the paper towel and then I'll reach in there and I will get the second one out it's uh, there we go had to get in there and get it okay and then that will and then that will pretty much prevent anything from getting in the oil tank now once that is done it's a very simple you just screw this in here and I like to tap that deep enough to where, you know, it will have a little tension on it. That way you don't have to, there's not a tremendous amount of pressure on this, but I like it to screw in so that it just tightens up right when it comes to the bottom of the threads. That way you don't run a pipe dope on there and have it oozing out everywhere. Now I've already pre-run this line here, as you can see, but then once you do that, you'll take your line, and as you can see here, this will just come in here. And that will just screw onto your fitting. As you can see right there, it's not on my hands are a little oily, but that will screw on right there. Then you just kind of push this to the back. There we go. And then that will lay in there nicely like that. And it lays right up the frame tube. And if you look right here, you can see where I brought that hose through. I brought it through right in that gap there. Now that same gap is on a twin cam and on a Milwaukee 8. Then what I would do is run that hose along my frame tube. As you can see, I've tied it down. 
and then I'll come right in between the fender strut and the fender. And then that brings it right underneath your fender strut here. Now on some of the earlier bikes, you have the little tabs that you can tie off on. This one here, I've used the uh, saddlebag thing, the saddlebag uh, mount, and then I've got one up underneath here. And then with your hose, your hose will drop out right here behind your, uh, it will eat on the, it will be right behind your tail light or right behind this guard so it's never seen. Then what you'll do is you'll take your filter that is supplied with the kit and then this here just slips on just like so. Just slip it in there about an inch. You put that on and you just tie it off. And what that does is that is your vent line. It keeps all the smell of the oil and everything in the back. Now one of the things that's very important and I want to bring it to everyone's attention even on the Milwaukee 8s and on the twin cams. A lot of got times guys will overfill their oil tank and this will, if the oil tank is overfilled, you will get a little bit of a vent, uh, mist out of here. So what we do for our customers is even on our, on all of our 107 stuff that we put a little more compression in that builds more crankcase pressure, we mark the dipstick. If you see right here, you have your dipstick and it has all your holes. This one here is, uh, a uh, full on jiffy stand and this was a uh, full vehicle upright. What I do on all of our oil tanks, you'll see these notches, one, two, three, four, all the way down. I go down four notches from full on all dipsticks and then what I do, that's where I run my oil level. What this does, it gives you a more of a venting area in your oil tank which allows for less pressure build up in the motor. And for our customers, what we do is we will take a little uh, hacksaw and mark that so that they'll know where it's at. 99% of the bikes that come in here, they're over full on oil. So this is kind of a quick tip with a quick instruction. This is very important in my opinion. So just something that we do here at T-Man Performance. These kits are available. We have 20 in stock ready to ship. Please let us know if you're interested in one uh, and we hope you enjoyed this tech tip. Uh, thank you very much.